Hey Ravens, welcome to Game Day Northwest. I'm Rosie Klausner alongside Will Vestal. Today we recap last Thursday's back-to-back -back soccer match and football game, as well as highlights of golf. Let's get started. The Northwest football team got off to a slow start, losing in the first two games in heartbreaking fashion by a combined seven points against Goddard and Aletha East. On Thursday, the Ravens tried to get back on track against Lee Summit North at home. Roan Stanley has the story. The Thursday night football game didn't hold back the Raven faithful as they showed out for a matchup against Lee Summit North at Seaback. A heavy dose of scoring early left the Ravens down 21-10 at halftime after an action-packed first half. The Ravens rallied back to bring the game within five points but ended up on the short end of the scoring tonight. Here's what Coach Sherman had to say after the game. The kids played hard and both teams played hard. It was just a good football game. It was a good football game, and we came up a little bit short. And what was billed as back-to-back -back before the football game took place on Thursday, the Ravens soccer team took on Lawrence Free State at Seaback at 5 o'clock. Let's kick it over to Nick Lopez with the story. The boys varsity soccer team took on Lawrence Free State Thursday night. The Ravens got their first goal of the night from Chris Cotton, and then seconds later, Griffin King scored a match Chris Cotton. In the second half, Griffin King won up to his teammate by striking again in the second half. Charlie Holmgren, once again on back-to-back -back night and jersey night, had another shutout performance. After the game, we caught up with senior Chris Cotton, who scored the first goal of the night. Um, as a whole, we came out a little slow, but we got it going. I put one in, Griffin put two in, and then never looked back. Uh, you know, I was pretty pumped. My first goal of the season. We're definitely looking to chalk up at least 10 more of those before the season ends. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Nick Lopez and Alyssa Clinton. Now back to the desk. Girls Golf went to Indian Hills Country Club for the Shawnee Mission East Invitational on Monday, September 12th. Alyssa Clinton has the details. The ONW Lady Ravens golf team headed to Indian Hills Country Club to compete in the Shawnee Mission East Invitational. The Lady Ravens competed well. They had three girls placed in the top 20. Junior Rosie Klossner placed 9th out of 47 with a score of 88. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Alyssa Clinton and Roan Stanley. This has been Game Day Northwest. Now, back to the desk.